What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire. I wanted to make a quick video on how I make my face cam, because it's one of the most frequent questions that I get, and I, I don't always feel like I do a great job of explaining how it all works. Now, a disclaimer going in, I don't know these programs very well. I learned everything I know about them, through YouTube videos, and I learned as much as I needed to to be able to make what I wanted to make my face cam into. So please be aware of all that going in. I don't know these programs very well. I only know the absolute bare minimum of what I have to. But yeah, um, this is Adobe Illustrator, and it is what I created my face, avatar, character. As you can see, there is actually nothing below the chest. There never has been. I don't know if there ever will be, but these are all just like separate layers. This, I mean, it's all just kind of an illusion. I don't really know what to call it all, but yeah, I just ended up layering a whole bunch of different layers to make it look like this was a um, make a little hoodie. That, that's my coal fire hoodie. And there's my logo. Um, then what we've got going on in the rest of these are all of the like different directional faces. So this is the forward facing one. It's got all of the different like eyeballs, the line for the representation of the eye being closed. I don't know if people are gonna like seeing all of this because I'm just like tearing myself apart this way. But yeah, all of the different eye layers, the pupil, all of that, and then my eyebrows, my fire hair, all of this is one object I've got together because it all just transforms by itself. But then for each individual head direction, we've got all of the different mouth shapes that show up uh, via the audio syncing that the animation program does for me. So all of this is just called upon by the animation program itself. I give it all of these different shapes, objects, and tell them what they are. And whenever it senses or picks up anything that corresponds to that item, it pulls it up and displays it while hiding the other things. So when I'm looking forward, let's uh, put my eye back in place real quick. Um, so with all of these different mouth shapes and turn off all of them real quick so you can see them individually. So like mm sounds, D's, L's, F's, and most of the time these all appear so quickly that it's kind of hard to tell what's showing at any one time, but it's all just meant to be a, a rough facsimile of what mouth shapes are for those different syllables. Now almost every single one of these um, objects is duplicated and then slightly changed depending on what facial direction I have pulled up at any one time. So if we have, let's pull up right to show you what I mean. So my eyes are just shifted over a little bit. Um, there's a slight transformation in the beard to make it look like it's a, uh, like a one quarter turn and everything's just shifted over to the side a little bit, but all of the mouth shapes are, mouse, why are you gonna be weird right now? All the mouth shapes are exactly identical. All of the eye, beard, head shapes are all the same. Um, but yeah, this is this is all of the base artwork that the animation program calls upon to draw my face in in real time for when I'm doing the face cam for Let's Plays. So let's swap over. I'm not gonna save any of what I just did there. So, here we are, back over in 
Adobe Character Animator. This is where all of the magic happens. As you can see, it's it's currently picking up my mic. I don't have my face cam on because anonymity and whatnot, but you can see how it's it's picking up all of these different syllables that I'm speaking, and there's a slight delay in it because this is, you know, not perfectly real-time rendering program. Um, but if we go over into the rig, I can show you how it, how I tell it everything that's going on. So this is everything that we just saw over in Illustrator, all being loaded up and all being rigged into um, this program. So all of the information that the program needs to figure out what's going on, when and what to draw on the screen at any one time. We've got like all of our different mouth shapes and you can see over here, it's got a super freaking convenient rigging program. So this is my M mouth shape right here. And all I have to do is click on it and tell it this is the M mouth shape. So whenever it's going through the audio, whenever it picks up an M, um, it displays that for a second. And that goes through with every single one of these. I have my surprised turned off because I do have a beard in real life. And the program likes to think that my mouth uh, is always open because it picks up my mustache and the top of my beard and thinks that my mouth is always agape. Um, but then we can come in and look at like the eyes, all the different little pieces of it. So whenever my eyes closed, it shows that this is a blink. I don't know why that was rigged to L, probably because it starts with an L there, left blink. Um, but yeah, whenever, whenever it detects that my eyes are closed, it just puts up this eye layer over my open eye. But then you can see the pupil here and the eye itself i believe yeah right here is the bounding box for everywhere that my pupil can move which is why sometimes you'll see the pupil like will actually go over my upper eyelid i do my best to figure out when that's happening and and reset my calibration so that it doesn't look too awkward all the time but shit like that does happen. Um, I don't have a nose, so it doesn't worry about that. But it uh, it just it picks up and it draws upon every single um, parent group for the different heads on whichever um, direction my head is facing. I don't have down rigged in because I think it looks really awkward. And most of the time I am looking down at my screen because I, I have it low enough that my webcam that sits on top of it to track my face is perfectly eye level with me. So that when I look directly at the webcam, you guys see me looking directly at you. Um, it, it makes for occasionally some weird situations where I'll be looking down and it'll look like my eyes are closed. So I'm... I don't know, there's still a couple little things that I haven't gotten worked out. And, you know, it all just comes with learning. But if uh, we go back over to record, I will turn this on, but I'm gonna mosaic it out so you guys don't see me. Yeah, so whenever I open the program, this is what ends up happening. It, it looks super freaking awkward when I look all over the place. So I center my head, I look directly at the webcam and I set my rest pose and it brings everything back to normal so that when I start looking around it it looks a little bit better and this is from our last what audio is this I just wanted to let everyone know that the community discord server is now oh, up it's and running a discord server announcement but yeah, this this is everything that goes into making my face cam every single episode. Um, recently, I figured out that with the 2018 update of Character Animator, I can't run it at the same time as uh, OBS. So it, it led to this super awkward, like, crappy audio skipping where the the phony matchup where you you can see down here this whole line is every single uh mouth shape that it's drawing upon for any 
particular time. You can see how it, it corresponds with the audio every single bit there. Um, but I can't run OBS and this program at the same time in the terms of recording all of this information that's over here. So we've got the camera input, camera strength, um, all the like eyebrow, head tilt, eyelid and pupil scalings, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can't run it all at the same time. So what I ended up doing was creating an OBS profile that captures the live capture of this program. So everything that's going on here is just being screen recorded and uh, my audio at the same time. And then I go back in and I sync them up since this is always a little bit delayed. And the funny thing is, it's actually made my workflow a hell of a lot more efficient because this, what is this minute and maybe 17 second clip would maybe take me about 25 minutes to export. And for longer Let's Plays, especially back when I was doing the, the Hollow Knight episodes where I'd have like two hours of footage to cut into a 45 minute episode, it would take upwards of 10 hours to export everything out just before I could start even editing. So this, this new issue between Adobe Character Animator and OBS has been a blessing in disguise because now as soon as I'm done recording an episode, I can start editing it because everything is just recorded in OBS. All I have to do is resync my mouth movements and um, the audio. But yeah, this is everything about how I create my face cam. I, I hope everybody found this enjoyable, a little bit informative. I know it's a little bit weird to see my face going on here with all the shit that's, that's happening. But yeah, this is what goes into creating each episode on the channel. I sit here with all of this face tracking software running up here. I don't know if you can see it very well through the mosaic. I'll do my best to uh, to make it visible, but you can see all the little like dots on my face and all the little bits that they're tracking. So you can see, you know, if I look over to the right, it shows the the right face. If I go over to the left, it shows the left face. If I look up, it makes me look up. Um, but you can see with the the up how everything looks a little bit awkward with the eye movements. So I tend to, to stay away from using that one as much as possible. I like to do just the, the right face and the left face. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.